And now, another tale well calculated to keep you in. I promised Kate I was through with hauling high explosives. Let Jardine hire some younger guy with no wife, no four-year-old daughter. Let him take the risk. Let him get blown to bits if something happens to the truck. But that night, I had to make one more run. I had to. She's sleeping again. Kate, she's got to have a nurse. The doctor... I'm as good as any nurse. And what happens if you get sick, too? Look at you. Up all night, every night but with it. But you're getting better. It'll take time, but you're going to be all right. Anyway, then, we can't afford a nurse. Yes, we can. Kate, now listen to me. We can afford a nurse if I go on one more run. You promised me you're through with that. There's a big oil fire up at Westville. Two wells are already blazing, and there's a third ready to catch at the wind shifts. They need the dynamite to blow the top off that fire. I don't care. Please, Ben. I already talked to Jardine. He offered me 125 bucks for just one trip. Tell him to get somebody else. They're all out on runs already. I'll be back the day after tomorrow with 125 bucks. Now, you get on that phone and hire a nurse to take care of our kid. Ben, I won't let Call you. Call a nurse. And you get some sleep, you hear me? Sleep? With her sick and you out on the road with a load like the one killed your brother? What do you think I am? I know what you are. That's why I've got to break my promise. Why I've got to make one more dynamite run. After this, I won't haul anything more dangerous than tomatoes from Sioux Falls to Mason. I promise you. You promise? Ben, don't go. Call that nurse now. Oh, ben, I, I have a feeling, a, a terrible feeling. You're just tired. Forget it. My mind's made up. I'm going. So long, honey. Ben? Yeah? Be careful. Oh, Ben, you're back even sooner. The shipment's ready. I know. I was just looking it over. Good. Here's the ignition key. Thanks. Now, come on over here to the map. I'll show you the route. Uh, the fourth federal bank in Lawrence was held up today. The troopers have blocks out, but I'll call and warn them you're coming. All right, here we are. I don't have to tell you about Route 98. You can do that with your eyes shut. But here, here's some repair work outside of Fredericksburg. Take this detour here. Then 42 over the bridge, past Iroquois, High Point, Chester, and then on 73 into Westville. Think you got it? Yeah, yeah, I can remember that. What about the insurance policy? I don't leave without... Signing. All right, all right. It's ready on my desk. Now, you understand it's just a binder on such short notice. But if anything happens, they'll honor it as a top company. All right, here. You can be signing all three copies while I call Chief Higgins. Uh, where, do, where do I put the John Hancock? Where it says insured. Okay. Eddie Jardine. My truck's leaving now. Any word from your roadblocks? Okay, but try not to interfere with my boy. He's carrying a couple of tons of dynamite. Good. I appreciate that, Eddie. Here you are, Jardine. All signed. $100,000 if I don't make it. You know, it might be worth it to slam that load into a ditch. There's nothing left of you. Yeah, but my wife and kid would be taken care of. They're the only reason I agreed to come back here for one more haul anyway. Sure. All right, come on, I'll walk you out of the truck. You know, Ben, when you told me a month ago that you were through, I knew you'd be back. My drivers never quit for good. I promised my wife. No, oh, we always promise our wives. Look at me. No right arm. I didn't quit till I got it blown off in the same crash that killed your brother. Yeah. Well... Sooner I get going. Uh, Ben. Ah. I wouldn't go above 30 miles an hour. You won't be driving. No insurance company is going to pay for a suicide. At all? Just take it easy. Thanks, Jardine. I'll make it okay. 
Day after tomorrow, you have my dough ready. Don't worry. It'll be here. Three hundred and thirty-five miles to Westville, and at only thirty of them an hour. I tried to relax, but you can't relax, not with a load like I was hauling. Sure, there are safety precautions. Through that little window right behind my head, I'd seen that the cases of dynamite had been safely tied and were riding evenly on the foam rubber floor. But you can't relax, not with other drivers on the road. Not with a chance that something can go wrong with a tire or a wheel or who knows what. My God, the Imperial Diner looked good. At this time of night, business was slow. Through the window, I could see a young couple in one of the booths and a guy sitting there at the end of the counter. Well, well, Ben, you ain't been by in a while. I quit hauling this stuff three months ago. Yeah, but you're back. Yeah, just this once. Give me a coffee regular and, um, one of those Danish. Uh Uh-huh. I guess you heard about the holdup at the bank in Lawrence, huh? Yeah, my dispatcher mentioned something about it. Yeah, big one. Heard on the radio. One of the guards got killed. They got roadblocks set up. Haven't you been stopped yet? Here you go. Came to one of the roadblocks 20 miles back, but they waved me through. Huh? Oh, yeah, they would with what you're hauling. Oh, excuse me. Sure. Hey, Mac, I wonder if you could help me out. It depends. In what way? Well, do you happen to be carrying extra battery cables? Yeah. And a 12 kicker? Yeah. Good, mine's dead. We hook the cables from your kicker. I can get started. Once my motor's turning over, I'm okay. Why don't you ask that couple in the booth? I did. No cables. If I get started, I can make Fredericksburg. There's an all-night station there. Yeah, I know, but you don't want me. I'm not driving a car. It's a truck. And I'm hauling explosives. Oh, yeah? Two tons of it. Sorry. Yeah, well, uh, I don't want to spend the rest of the night here. Well, don't worry. Somebody will come by. Well, so long, Jake. See ya. Hey, uh, just a minute, buddy. Thought I already... Yeah, I know, I I know. Uh, Look, right over there, that's my crate, that jalopy. I'll settle for a push if you think our bumpers at me, but the battery hookup would be better. Can't help you. That's just what you're going to do. Let go of my arm. Buddy, you've got a rider. I said you've got a rider. Gone, huh? Okay. Okay, if you want to ride that bad, you've got it. But maybe you ought to change your mind. I'm hauling enough TNT to blow up half a mountain. One bad bump. One sudden flat. Well, you, you never know what could set it off. Just a mistake is enough. And nobody's going to crowd you on the road, huh? Everybody keeps clear of you, right? They got good reasons. Sure, oh, sure they have. That's what I figured when I heard you talking to the counter guy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I get 125 bucks for driving this load, so you can see how safe it is. You should have waited for someone to start your car. Or for a state patrol to come by? You can get blown up riding with me. Listen, I shot a guy at the bank in Lawrence today. I can get the chair for that. This would be easier. You? Yeah, me. 100,000 bucks right here in this little satchel. Easy, too. My buddy's just walked right out of there and got lost in the crowd. Me? Me, I had the old jalopy. Who thinks a guy on a lamb would use a jalopy, huh? I got out of town before they even had a chance to set up any blocks. You're in the clear now. We get to Fredericksburg in about 15 minutes. I'll leave you off near the bus depot. Oh, no, you won't. What? You keep right on going. Come on, now listen you here. listen. We're going through Fredericksburg. You have through Farnham and High Point to Summers. Summers. You get that? There's a flight leap. I would have been almost there if the jalopy hadn't broke down, but we'll make good time now. Because nobody's been a bother the whole way. He sat there with his gun on me while I drove steadily. 
It was close to midnight now, and there was no traffic. As we hit the outskirts of Fredericksburg around a sharp turn in the road, we came to another police roadblock. Watch it, buddy. I can start shooting just like that. Never mind. Keep going. I'm waving it through. Come on, you. Hey, officer. Uh, I'm running low on gas. There's a station open here all night, isn't there? You know there is. What are you trying to pull? There is. We block straight on. Can't miss it. Thanks. Um, I was wondering... Say, you fellas don't have any protection if that load goes off, do you? Well, neither would you stand in there. Huh? Oh, <laughs> guess not. What are you carrying? TNT. A couple of tons of it. That much? Oh, the fire up at the oil range, huh? Well, you're a good one to keep clear of. Well, you just go right ahead. Well, good night. Come on, get going. Good luck. That train leaves Summers at 415 over 100 miles. Step on it. What? I said faster. I got a 30 mile an hour top. Well, double it. Listen, we hit a bump at that speed. Just speeder. don't hit no bump. I... I can't. Don't blow your brains off. They're fixing the road. So what? So what? It's a right turn into the detour. This speed will flip over. Let's keep going. You ain't gonna miss that plane. What's the detour? What about it? I gotta cut speed. I'm telling you what to do. We're too fast to make that turn. No, we ain't making it. We'll hit that barrier. We gotta stop. No. What? You wanna crash the barrier? Right through. Put those kerosene pots that there's a fire. I said keep going. Now go on. What you think? These bumps, we ain't gonna make it. We better make it. I'm warning you, I can't hold this wheel. We gotta pick up time. We're a long way from Summers. Iroquois is the next town. You can hop a freight there. Uh uh-uh. uh. I get that plane and I'm over the border and in the clear. I'm sticking with you all the way. Take the freight train. It'd be better than this. It'd be safe. You drop me anywhere, the cops will know. You'll go straight to them. I'll give you time, I swear. Don't tell me no favors. What? What then? And I ain't through with you, no. I can't take no chance on you. What? What do you mean? What do you think? Hey, what are you stopping for? Give me that gun. Why, you... Get him, me! Drop it, you... drop it. Let go, man. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. No, no. Shut my head right through that window. Oh, the dynamite, huh? There's a gun that's aimed right at Please. me. Please. I shoot a bullet into all that TNT, there won't be nothing left, right? Now, get off of you, would Look, buddy, it don't matter to me. I get blown up here, I get the chair for murder. I got nothing to lose by blowing both of us up. I don't have no wife or kid I want to see. You lousy... Which is it, buddy? You're going to roll this truck or do I fire a bullet into the dynamite? Please. I'm counting to three. One. Give me a break. Two. Oh, no, no, wait. Shut up. You going to drive? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, then, come on. Get going. Step on it, buddy. Just step on it. That's what you think. There's a patrol car blocking the road. What? More cop? I can't break. That's hard. Where'd they come from? Must have spotted you at the last block, radioed ahead. Come out of there, trucker. Get that patrol car right out of the way. Boy, he's by on his shoulder. Go on. No. Come on, let's go. Get out. Give yourself up. I'm warning you. Go on. Come out of there. We'll have to blow up that truck. Hey, you see, if I don't figure this sign, I might say will, so get rolling. I got no choice. Go on. I'm going to stay undercover. Keep going. They're shooting. Come on, you're going to make it. That's it, that's it. Now, drive. That ain't coming yet. One of them grabbed for the radio. Come on, fast. That's it, buddy. Uh, you want speed now? You're going to get it. They're coming. 72 miles an hour. I can't pull away from them. Like I just lose them. Finally get the idea. Where I am. There's a town up ahead, just over the bridge. Winding streets, a couple of hills. Not easy, like Fredericksburg. We'll never make it. 
And I ain't going to see a lot of innocent people killed. If I can get clear of those cops, we're crashing. Well, uh, listen here. Oh, you listen. You've been playing with my life ever since you got on. Well, if it's just you and me, it won't matter now. When this load blows up, you got a wife, a kid. Don't you want to see him? You know I do. But a hundred thousand bucks if I don't, if this truck crash. No. Uh, slow down. You got to slow down. Okay, I told you. Hand me your gun. Give yourself up. I, I can't. I got the chair. I got a chance this way. Maybe we both got a chance. Why should I give you a break? You won't give me one. Yeah, I will. I will. I swear. I'll let you go. I can't afford to. And the insurance company covers me if there's a crash and explosion. Hey, you're nuts. Or smart. A bridge at half a mile and then the town. It's got to be soon. Right behind us. You'll kill them, too. I don't know pull ahead. If I only pull ahead, the truck won't go any faster. thousand pounds of dynamite riding my tail. I didn't have a chance. None of us did. It's not me or the killer or the cops. Up ahead, around a couple more curves, would be the bridge. And then across the river, the town. If it had to be this way, then better all of us than a couple of hundred sleeping townspeople. But how do you bring yourself to crash on purpose when every instinct you've always lived with has been to protect your own life and others? To bring your load of dynamite in safely. I braced myself to swerve the wheel and send us into a rollover. We came around the final curve with the bridge a quarter of a mile ahead. And there, blocking the whole road, were three of the town's police cars. Stop! They'll pull those cars out of the way or I'll blow them up. They won't move. They can't. they got to protect the town. You'll kill them, too? Now I had to flip the truck over to set off the dynamite. It would be me and the killer and the cops behind us if I was lucky. The police waiting up ahead would be safe. The bridge over the river would be safe. The town beyond would be safe. I took a high grip on the steering wheel. And then I saw it. A dirt road forking off the highway and leading down to the bank of the river. I eased the wheel to the right and we started bumping over the dirt road. Our only chance. Will you stop? Now stop! Let me out of the way! Up ahead was the bank of the river with some empty rowboats pulled up. My foot had the gas pedal down on the floor as we roared at them. The killer started clawing to get the door open. We reached the end of the road. Ten feet from the bank, I let go of the wheel. The last thing I remember was the water coming up fast, and then we hit it. Several hours later, when the doctor said I was okay to sit up, I got a call through to Kate. The troopers were still grappling the river for the killer's body. They'd gotten me out okay, even found his satchel with all that money. I told Kate only that the trip was over for me, and I didn't earn the 125 bucks after all. But the bank loot was safe, so there was going to be a reward. I told Kate only to go back to sleep, that nothing had happened. Nothing had happened, huh? Well, she just started worrying. Suspense. You've been listening to Dynamite Run by Peter Fernandez. Heard in tonight's story were Mason Adams as Ben, Larry Haynes as Super. Others included Elaine Ross, Bob Dryden, Phil Lipton, Herb Duncan, and James Bowles. Listen again next week when we return with a story by one of the most remarkable writers of this century. A story with a shattering moral. The classic, The Country of the Blind by H.G. Wells. Another tale well calculated to keep you in... Suspense.